Welcome back to Pops and Highlands. Let's play some more Europe. Even though it's four, we're playing uh, it's not a Dal, it's a Seidal. Yeah, what's it was about to say a Dal? No, we're playing a Semyon, of course. We're going for Shemot is not. We have to convert all of Egypt to our Jewish religion. We've been doing quite well at spreading Jewish so far, or Judaism. Uh, but obviously, these Inzus here are a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, Green Goblin will uh, be quite the hurdle in the future. For now, they are our friend, which uh, means that we get to pretty much ignore aggressive expansion because, you know, <laughs> uh, no, I don't want transport. Oh, you can't move through there without a guy. Okay, I see. Um, because who's gonna attack the Ottomans, really? Honestly, if you think about it, Who's gonna do that? Nobody is. So I think we're taking a pretty huge chunk here, even though, yeah, it's spent legitimacy for mercantilism. Heck yeah. Especially since we have a button that keeps giving us, just keeps on giving us uh, the old legitimacy. Uh, wool now is done, nice. Now what does that mean? Now, some part of me wants to continue building here in uh, Better Israel top end, so we get a colonial nation. And they can then maybe continue taking over whatever is left on this tiny little continent here. It's called it's Australia, Austria, something like that, right? Or we do something for our potential circumnavigation. Wait, did you become Spanish? Ugh. I mean Castilian, but still. I was kind of interested in that island for the circumnavigation, wasn't I? Um, hmm. Could take like some Cape province. Such as Lesser Namaka land. Just for the range. It's a bunch of wasteland. Use a bunch of wastelands. Uh, no colonists to send too far away. I have colonists though, I just need to wait a day there. There we go. Oh, this is also too far away. How? Oh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, no, we can't do these two pips of distance. So this would be where we go. I'll go up bay. Would that be enough for a circumnavigation, I wonder? Ah... Uh... I mean, I'm sure it helps. Would it be better to grab, like, New Zealand or something? Probably not. Because New Zealand surely isn't as far away. He said, lyingly. It's insanely far away from Buna. What? What about like one of these places? Oh, that's Terrain Cognitus. What about one of these places? Like Vanuatu. That is close enough. Shame we don't know about you yet, Tuvalu. Hmm. So I could go for something like Vanuatu. I'd need to send some protection. <laughs> There's almost nobody in New Caledonia. Um, anything sweet around here? No, it's all pretty, pretty garbage. I'm tempted to scout the rest of that. How close are you to being done with your mission, Scouty Boat Boy? Not. Not close. How far is our other colonist? Are we doing a colony without colonists? We are. All oh, right, because we got like a free one. Yeah, but Yo Yongu is almost done as well. So we could use this one on something that's not range expanding. Or we say we go both ways. Is it really worth to do all this for circumnavigation? Because that's like what, 100 mil uh, dip points or something for first circumnavigation? I think get some mana points for it. It's nice. But is that really worth our colonization time? 
or should we rather be going either finishing up our colonial nation or hmm, or what really don't really know what the alternative would be i mean sure there's stuff to colonize here it's not bad but it's also not like high priority either still kind of somewhat interested in doing this Ooh, that's actually a decent place i mean syria monsoon tropical and all that but uh it is a eighty million province and it's on land which makes resupplying with troops much easier if we had to have a war there mm. let's say i go over here or here to do the whole colonial nation thing for now and how do we get a guy over there oh, we have three transports here never mind that'll be fine so go to Wulna, pick the guy up and then I guess I do on them consider this part of their home Pish tosh. Home. Come on. And I keep saying come on. I kept saying that last episode. I mean, it was the same recording day. I need to stop saying that. Enemy invasion imminent. That's actually three guys. Well, they probably built them on that island. The little fudges. Ah, let's have you go back. Throw that naval invasion back into the sea. Traditional player. Achievement, you say? What did I do? What did I do, Steam? What did I just do? More than 90% naval and army tradition? Holy fudge. What? Yeah? <laughs> I mean, that's... And certainly something. I guess clicking all those buttons earlier did have some sort of effect. Wow. I was about to say, I guess I, I think I never had that high tradition, but I'm pretty sure I haven't because I've not been playing non-Iron game and games for a long time. If I had, I had the tradition that is, then I would also have the the achievement. Let's speed up that siege as much as we can with a general and some canonic. I guess consider stating no. No, this is. I don't even know if we're going to get a colonial. But I think we get a colonial nation even on Australia. Austria. Yes, Austria. I think we do. Discipline or uh, ooh, do I have the money? I mean technically I do. We're swimming in mill. Let's not let's not spend the money on that necessarily. Oh, I was thinking about how to swim people over there. I can just do this. <laughs> just send my own boy to ank them. And then once my conquistador is available again, are you on that siege? Is this you? It is. Hey, Pincher, whatever your name is. If that is even your name. Let's get you out. And get you back to doing the Lord's work. Conquistador rising. Hunt for those seven cities. Pretty, still pretty sure you're on the wrong continent for that, but hey. Oman declared war in Yemen. I mean, I guess. Come on in. <laughs> I do like these free um, religion conversion things. Did something just happen in Al Waj? I just clicked through it. Maybe I just converted Alwaj. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Um, this is all pretty quick, like. Hmm. 
No, we're not stating the top end. I mean, stating doesn't cost me anything, but coring it would. And again, I think we lose all of it. All right, now. Let's consider things. Now we do the big old adult piece. Like eat all of them. That's 52 over extension, which is what I care about most, I think. I don't care so much about the AE. I do care, but not so much. Then how much can I get for like 47 points in Yemen? 47 points of overextension, that is. That's pretty close. Wait, did I say 47? I think I did. I get almost out of Yemen, but not quite. Bit of a shame. Well, I guess the rest is just gonna go to Oman then. And then we can take it from them. Who cares? Ah, eh, nobody cares enough. So 46.4%. And then we take another 52.8% from Adal. That is not 100% and therefore fine. <laughs> um, what are we not doing? We're not taking anything from Pate, so we can separate piece Pate for something else. We're not taking Mogadishu, which is fine. It's not even a place anyway. Yeah. Let's take Pate. Hmm. Not take, take. Wait. No, no, no. I want to talk to you, Pate. Super peace. Oh, I just still had that offer running around. Never mind. I was confused, but I'm no longer confused. <laughs> Just vassalize them. Mm. No. I mean, technically, <laughs> I say no, but technically that works. Can you just vassalize them? The question is, are we at some point going to create so much aggressive expansion that Mr. O cares? Uh, how's our improved relations? Yeah, let's let's go ahead and butter them up a bit. There might be might be reasons to do so. Might even want to spend some favors on some trust, maybe. At some point. Trust me, this is fine. <laughs> Huh. Subjugate Pate. They can make their own money for now down there. And if we ever move there, then we can take over the trade. It's tempting, isn't it? It's quite tempting, actually. Costs me a bunch of dip, but this is okay. I was about to say fine, but I don't want to say fine. Yeah, I mean, we will be behind on dip, but... I think that's worth it. Um, do we happen to have like cores or something? No. Wait, don't you, you don't even have this cord. Oh, because you just freshly took it. <laughs> right. So you'll have a bit of an issue with the rebels and stuff. Hmm. Swahili traditions. Nah, that does not seem particularly interesting at all. Do I want that? Eeh! What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you're mine now. Um, yes, you're mine now. I might not even take your cash money. 
Oh well, that's probably utterly wrong. But it is done. Uh, yeah, you have some rebels popping up. I wonder why. Let's get some friends. Once you've done that, do a big circle like that. It's called a circle. Uh, that and that, and then we wait like a day, and then we do our truce to Yemen. Truce? Peace? You know, same difference. Yeah, more people are on the list now. Oh wonder. But we have not yet peeved off. Oh, there was almost no hit to our relations to Mr. O there from the... This is going to cost a bit more, but it'll be fine. <clears throat> was it always 46? I think yes, 46.4. And the other piece is 52. Yeah. We don't have any overextension, right? No. Um, how about the admin cost? 291, 440, yikes. But hey, uh, so for peace, I mean, we, we, we need the clay. Hey, poor boy, I need the clay. Beat it for themselves, give me all the clay. Fine. Start the process. Now we wait a day and we look at, wait a day, or oh, we need a guy back here. Yeah. This, it's still not a coalition that matters. Not as used to being my friend, and you still are. Could wait a few ticks here. Maybe, just so we don't, like at least we get one improvement tick with Mr. O before things go utterly awry. We could even piece out Yas for, I don't know what for. Tiny bit of war reps. It does not seem worth it. it. Doesn't even seem worth completing the siege. Yeah, they're the Mumba. Oh, how dare you spawn on my army. You guys, grab a guy that can run fast, like you, and go there. Did I put, yes I did, okay. So these two are not looking so hard. I want to run as far as, as fast as I can, yes, but also as soon as I can. They actually did quite fine considering, but uh, better run. Uh, you better suppress, because for some reason these Yemenis don't feel kindly towards me. No, I also don't get it. Dango's Liwa. This means I can do this, and then I could pinch your capture just for frick's sake. Frick's sake? Just, just, just because. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't think this is worth it. But we could actually subjugate Yas as well and grab a bunch of cores around here for reconquest. I mean, they're not the worst, worst, the world's worst cores ever. What am I looking at? Or for? Actually looking for my diplo relations. Yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of vassals we need to integrate, but... You know how much I like a reconquest war. Hmm. Hmm. Should I? <laughs> Should we just go utter ham? How aggressively expensive would it be? Not very at all. Reconquest is just so good. Now, converting them to our religion will be a pain. 
and they'll never be integratable in time if we do. So I might just be better off just holy warring for all this. I think I am. I think I am. I think I just take random stuff here. Hmm, oh, still trade to me. Do any prestige at all? No. No, min max this and take. Oh. It's main ducks I'm allowed to, which is not allowed anyway. It's very important. Meaning for themselves? Yes. It's quite possible that it would have been, would have been correct to go for. Subjugation there. But it feels like I'm already buying a lot of trouble. And I don't necessarily want more of that. Uh, you. You could be potentially interesting. You're not, though. <laughs> I thought if we took control of Mogadishu and then gave them a bunch of land, we wouldn't have to core it. And that's true. But. I don't think that's what we want to do here. I think well, we let, just let Mogadishu go. Let my Mogadishu go. Not even gonna pitch your capital. I'm gonna take your war rates. War rates? Yes. Your war reps. And your trade power. And all your ducats. Can I have no inflation with this? Thank you. I don't actually know if this means no inflation or if this is just so little that it's not shown because it's rounded. But either way, that's going to be all right. And now I, one of our generals died. And how am I not black flagged here? Could you stop having military access through home moves, please? That's annoying. <laughs> um, anything else? No, we're just waiting for the other least piece. Right, 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 right. How much do you like me to throw? Let's wait for this. Oh, stop scaring me like that, game. Um, yeah, let's do peace. If we can call that peace. 52.8%. Let's make sure that this didn't break. 52.8%. Fine. I demand it, Adal. Full annexation. Can I have your cash money too? I can. Good. <laughs> now this will probably take a while to um, absorb, let's say. Now, I have a rival I can pick. It's Timmy. I'm going to pick Timmy immediately. Hopefully that gets rid of the malice. It does. Very good. I'm also going to go talk to Timmy and tell them that they are not allowed to trade here anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Accumulate rival. You go crush the rebels in the south. Good, good. You... I meant for you to join them. And then you can finally come home, thanks to black flagging. And you can go back to making money, but you should do that automatically. And you're sitting on some sort of rebels around here. We will have to move troops over to the Horn. Um, to deal with the rebels there. We don't necessarily need to do that today. And uh, now... These islands over here. Yeah. Explore the what's that? South China Sea coast, East China Sea coast. I don't know. Gilbert Islands. How do I know? How do I know regions? Northwest Pacific. Okay. Can I do North Pacific Coast? Yes, go. I 
I have an island to take care of or something. Clear out some of the moon bosses. And I think I straight up move on and clear out the other bunch of Mombasas here. Keep on with the conversion guru. Guru? Sure. I don't know why I said guru. I say a lot of things, I don't know why I'm saying them. These days, apparently. You, over here. We're gonna have some other leads to deal with. There's Yolknu. Oh. That rivalry didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> no. Still not interested in Mr. O there. I think I'm gonna give my explorers a moment. You have a lot of separatists, folks. You know that. Is it time to unify the horn? Is minus two unrest going to do anything? Yeah, some places it would help. I'm just waiting. Oh, how about printing press? Printing press been spawned already. Uh, because we wouldn't have been told about it, because the game doesn't tell us about stuff anymore. Yes, you spawned in Bern. So we should be able to develop printing press. Uh, not that I have tons of monarch points. I mean, I have this. Now, Printing Press should not be spreading for me, right? Nearby Friendly, Adjacent, Diptech 15, Press and Anchor Reformed. Yeah, yeah, no. Not gonna get it for free. So, we wanna do the following. We wanna look for a place, sort by cost, and look for a place like Fayum here, where the cost to total development ratio is crazy good. <laughs> we have the edict going on here, we do. So, it's slightly slightly um, distorted, but still that cotton I think is what makes this great, right? Farmlands, is it? Yeah, cotton, renaissance, all my modifiers. Uh, yeah, so definitely want to do the development in Fayum. Now, if I do that, it's only two points, printing press progress, even though it's 16. Yeah, but I guess that's what it is. Um, if I do that, can I make my merchants like super happy first? I don't know how I would. I could take their land, but that does tend to make them happy. <laughs> Was there another modifier we were triggering last time? I feel like there might have been. I don't remember. We could hit the Golden Era for another 10%. I think I just will. Sure, we don't have the huge war going on right now, but I think I still, still will go for this right here, right now. Not gonna wait for the war against Mr. O. No, just hit the button. Go Golden Era. Hit the other button. Unify the horn for uh, another 5% discount. And I will revoke this embargo because the heat pop up annoys me and it needs to be done anyway. And then we're looking at a pretty good discount here. <laughs> Don't know that I have anything else I can do. Sure, there's not a development discount from the rabbites. Although there's room for a privilege, we should probably be running one, but uh, I'm not gonna bother about that right now. Um, did we get a increase for our extension? I don't think we did, right? No, that doesn't cost anything. Corruption does, but can't really do anything about corruption right this moment. Don't think we have a policy. We don't. And we're already running this thing. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm just gonna gonna start clicking things into Fayum here. Yeah. And we are not gonna spend extra yet. Because we might still get those merchants to be happy. And that would be nice. Okay, meet up and clear out another set of rebels. This has the added benefit of making my subject like me a bit more because I'm liberating their provinces. Right? Yeah. Which reduces their independence desire thing. Uh, where's improve? Where's improve? I'll start claiming Kudus against the Ottomans. Oh, that's um, Jerusalem. Yeah. That's just gonna have to be fine. Knowing that I am... Um, oh. Now we're over 10% in. If I had considered doing the um, H thing a bit earlier, I could have saved some money on the coring or some admin, but it's too late for that now. I don't think any of these islands are particularly better or worse than others. I mean, Micronesia is a center of trade, which is cool. If not particularly relevant for now. And... I don't know what's best for our plans of going across the world. It might be just New Zealand. Man, this is all garbage land. I would like a nice Polynesian island. I wouldn't mind having one. <laughs> New Zealand or an island? Do any of these have no... I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Because we have boats to send out with folks. I was just looking for one that doesn't have any natives on it, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I also don't know if... I mean, if you're smart and you want to do a world circumnavigation, you go south or north. You don't go across the equator. But I don't know if that matters at all in this game <laughs> and this map projection. Tasmania? And Tasmania is really good. But it's kind of not as close to the Americas as, say, Wake is. Yeah, maybe the fact that this allows me to potentially get a colony in America, if that's something I want to do. I should probably pick up one of these. The Gilbert Islands or Tuvalu. And I'm going to do Tuvalu for two very important reasons. Two. One being that the name of the place is funny. The other being that uh, I like the connection with .tv domains. <laughs> Which is the only reason I know what a Tuvalu is. <laughs> um, cursed infidels in Oman. I lost the cows belly against Yemen because I don't think they exist anymore. No, no. Never mind, I left them with this island. I forgot. <laughs> forgot about that island. Um, yeah, I know. Go wait if your rivals pop up. I don't, I don't want to care. Or bother. Still not gonna make the top end anything. Crush even more of my subject's rebels. Nice of my subject to expand right before I take them all. I mean, potato, potato, right? Oh, yes! Bunch more gold. Okay, what do we invest in? Gotta make, spend money to make money, right? Um, we just made a bunch of money, so we gotta spend a bunch of money. That makes tons of sense. Uh, and Durta will want to be a manufactory. 
Templates are okay, workshops are okay, centers of trade are... I mean, Semyon is fine. Fine. And then I build a bunch of boats. Did we have pay back that loan we did? Okay, good. Did we ever put that cut into this here video? No, but we really should. Thank you so much for watching me. Like we're seeing as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and if you have anything at all to say, then there are a lot worse places to do so than the comment section. Thank you for watching, and see you folks next time.